At a big wedding party in Cana, everyone was laughing and dancing. But they ran into a big problem. They ran out of wine, and the party was about to get dull. But Jesus was there, and he did something nobody expected. He took jars filled with water, and with a simple gesture, turned the water into the most delicious wine the guests had ever tasted. The party lit up again, and everyone's jaws dropped, wondering how water had turned into wine. On another day, a huge crowd of 5,000 people gathered around Jesus, listening to every word he said. As the sun started to set, everyone realized they were really hungry, but all they had were five bread rolls and two tiny fish. It seemed impossible to feed so many with so little, but Jesus took the bread and fish, looked up to the sky, and gave thanks. Suddenly, the food started multiplying. Everyone ate until they were full, and there were even baskets of leftovers. It was like the bread and fish never ended. Once, while Jesus and his friends were sailing across the Sea of Galilee, a terrifying storm blew in. The wind howled, and the waves crashed into the boat, making everyone think they were going to sink. But Jesus was calm amidst the chaos. He stood up, stretched out his hand and said, Peace, be still. Instantly, the storm stopped, and the sea became as smooth as glass. His friends were amazed, whispering to each other, Who is this? Even the wind and waves obey him. After that, on a different night, Jesus' friends were in a boat again, struggling against the waves. Suddenly, they saw a figure walking on the water towards them. It was Jesus, walking as if the stormy sea were a dry path. His friends were scared at first, thinking it was a ghost. But Jesus called out to them, telling them not to be afraid. Walking on water, he showed them there was nothing to fear when he was with them. In Jerusalem, there was a man who had been blind from birth. People thought he would never see the beauty of the world, the colors of the market, or the faces of his family. But Jesus had other plans. He made some mud with his saliva, put it on the man's eyes, and told him to wash in the pool of Siloam. When the man washed his face and opened his eyes, he saw wow. everything for the first time. The blue sky, the bustling streets, and the smiling Ooh. faces of those around him. His joy was boundless, and everyone who saw him was filled with wonder. In a village near Gergesa, Jesus encountered people tormented by spirits that brought them great pain and confusion. With a word of command, Jesus freed these people from their suffering. The spirits begged not to be sent away into nothingness, so Jesus allowed them to go into a nearby herd of pigs. The moment the spirits entered the pigs, the animals ran wildly and plunged into a lake, disappearing from sight. The people watched in amazement as peace returned to their village, and the tormented were now calm and free. On his journey, Jesus and his disciples came across a fig tree that bore no fruit. It was a symbol of promise that showed no results. Jesus spoke to the tree, saying it would never bear fruit again. The next day, the tree was withered from its roots, a stark reminder of the importance of living a fruitful life, full of faith and action. One of the most astonishing miracles happened when Jesus received news that his dear friend Lazarus had died. By the time Jesus arrived, Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days. The air was heavy with sorrow, and Lazarus's sisters were heartbroken. But Jesus, with a deep love in his heart, asked them to roll away the stone from the tomb's entrance. Then, with a voice that echoed with power and compassion, he called, Lazarus, come out! <gasps> and to everyone's astonishment, Lazarus came out of the tomb, alive and well, wrapped in his burial cloths. <laughs> this miracle showed everyone that not even death could limit Jesus' power. Another time, Jesus took three of his closest friends up a high mountain. Without warning, Jesus' appearance transformed. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Two figures appeared beside him, great heroes from the past, talking with him. This moment, known as the Transfiguration, Ooh. revealed Jesus' divine glory to his friends, wow. leaving them in awe and giving them a glimpse of the heavenly realm. The greatest miracle came after Jesus himself had been crucified. His friends and followers were heartbroken, thinking all was lost. But on the third day, when some of them went to visit his tomb, they found it empty. 
An angel told them, He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Jesus appeared to them alive, showing them his hands and side, proving he had overcome death itself. This miracle, the resurrection, is the cornerstone of faith for many, showing that love and life are stronger than death. Through these miracles, Jesus taught lessons of hope, love, and the promise of new beginnings. He showed that with faith, nothing is impossible, and that there's always a light in the darkness, ready to lead us into a future filled with wonder.